Welcome back to uh, Newsmakers with Mike Briggs. It's that time of year where different people running for offices come on our show, and uh, we're going to feature them. We're fair. Anybody could come. We don't take sides. And, and uh, Republican, Democrat, Green, you're all welcome to be on our show. Now, uh, our next guest is running for President of the United States of America, George Savala. Welcome, George. Oh, thank you. Nice to have you. I appreciate nice to that. have you on the show. Now, <laughs> there's Democrat Party, there's Republican Party, the Green Party. You kind of run it on the green side. You uh, care about the earth and the planet. And it's a little bit more elite. It goes a little bit more than just uh, uh, trying to advocate where, how we're damaging the planet, okay. which is everybody can see now. But the the second part of it is that. Um, Again, the, the Democrats and Republicans, they're bound by the Wall Street. They, they, they're getting lobbyist donations. Mm -hmm. So they're getting... Uh, Have you had any lobbyist issues. donations? No. Will you? No. No, you won't take them. I can't. Okay. I don't want to. Well, it's, it sounds nice. Oh, here's a million dollars. Yeah. Right? And then once you take that, then you're actually kind of basically selling your soul. Yep. So, you know, I, I want to... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go you wrong. Want, with, and keep your hands clean. Right. Let me ask you. I just. You've been on a couple of times, and uh, uh, you kind of had this theme. Not just. Oh, I'm green. I want to save the planet. But you have real live technologies you've researched, and you're you're telling our viewers about them that are uh, some of the green candidates. They say well, we want to stop farming. We want to stop this. But you say we don't have to do stuff like that. There's technologies out there where we can convert water to drinking and uh, make water better. One, you had on what's called the Vortex? The Water Vortex Implosion System. Right. No, thank you for uh, uh, including that. So I've been talking to a local scientist. He worked for the um, engineering department, I guess, in, for 40 years for the, for the, the government. He has several patents on his, on his site. And uh, so I'm getting Mikael and then um, um, Alden Park is his name. And so we can, formulate concisely on what how it, the vortex water system works. So what I'm trying to do is give it to the public mm -hmm. and create straws so that people... Um, yeah, the water, it showed the, he showed the video, Mikhail. So the, it kind of would go around the thing, but you're saying you want to get that on a level that you could even put a straw to drink right, water. Right, practicability, because yeah. people need healthy drinking uh, yeah. situations. The, one of my main focuses is, is put it into the human body, yeah. into the heart, before and after the heart. So it's purifying the, the, the chemicals in the blood, mm -hmm. and um, it's giving less pressure to the heart. So if we can do that, we're going to eliminate all kinds of chemicals, medications, and, and prolong human life. Right. But as far as we know, there's chemicals in the water. So the implosion system, what it does is it breaks down the water clusters. Mm -hmm. And then when it does that, it also it's easier to drink, to absorb. Um, it breaks down its... Um, its uh, its tensile strength, its tenacity, mm -hmm. so it's it's again more absorbent, and in, in solubility, so uh, giving nutrients and stuff like that to the the minerals, so we can absorb better, and then it's also um, uh, it's antibacterial, mm. so it kills viruses and it kills germs, and that's what we need right now, isn't it? Yes, it so, is absolutely. So all the water should be anything to do with water, and since everything is based on water, yep. should have that, but it's it's very quite simple. Very so simple I want to be introducing that in the next, hopefully, few weeks, so the public can do this uh, adaptation at home, and they don't have to have expensive equipment. They don't have to rely on, uh, you know, waiting to be able to participate. So the the main difference is r right now is making a difference for the Commonwealth, so they can, uh, so they eliminate these chemicals and all these issues that we're having yeah. in society. Okay. Now, so there's ways. We don't have to, like, fire the farmers or do away with farming or things like that. How, what about you talked a little bit about, we never discussed it at much length, but what about uh, desalinization using ocean water? Ah, so desalinization has always been a big problem. It's mm -hmm. been very expensive right. just because of the, the filters that they have to use. But if, if we can, um, this is where the research comes in on the type of the vortex that's created and the type of pressure and, and the heat separation, the salt from the water uh, can be in desalinization. This should be boiling the water first, and they're not. Okay. By doing that, because when it rains, what happens? Mm -hmm. Is there salt in the rain? 
-hmm. No. How does it separate? Yeah. How does it separate naturally like that? So we had to do, we had to be a little bit more smarter on our techniques. Sometimes, like desalinization process that they have now, uh, could be reformed mm -hmm. a little bit to be you, more adaptive. You think there can be an affordable way to desalinate? Very affordable. Okay. It's very more simplification. Yeah. It's just again we're bound down by corporate. Yeah, they give so, us all the water we needed. So corporates, uh, companies, they want to design or make something or hold patents and thinking that there's no other way around it. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of modifications to There's pencils that click and there's pencils that spin. Yeah. Just the same way on, on big projects. But uh, fighting against big companies or getting a bid for these companies and the fair equal opportunity. See, what's happening is that America is not a democracy. We're no longer a democratic society. Mm -hmm. We're uh, uh, a capitalistic society, yeah. right? And so because of that, uh, we like the goods and services that we're getting, but again, just like getting those donations from the lobbyists, people are selling their soul. They don't realize um, that they're being tantalized or misdirected. And look over here, keep looking over there. Well, he's got your hands in his pockets over here. Right. So we gotta, people just gotta really wake up and, 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 and realize what direction that they're actually moving. Now, running for president's a big step. Uh, you have to overcome Trump. You have to overcome Biden. I don't think I'm going to have to overcome them. I think they're going to overcome themselves. <laughs> you think they're going to take I care think, of themselves? Yeah. yeah, I think there's going to be some, as you know, yeah. as tension starts arising, um, I do really feel bad for both parties and how things are happening, uh, especially for Trump. But all the other people that are involved in him, there's like 18 people or 19 people, yeah. they're all going, it's all going to uh, domino effect to him. Yeah. And now let me ask you this. You are a businessman. And a very creative businessman, I can vouch for that because I've seen you do a lot of stuff. Um, Trump was a businessman, first person to be elected in years and years and years, who wasn't a vice president or a senator or a governor. Um, no, he got things done. And the way, the reason why business people get things done, is that um, uh, they don't have to well, all that bureaucratic voting type tactics, uh, getting paid off and redirected. All these, it slows things down. Mm -hmm. Everybody's kind of deciding. It's it just going through the motions. The more motions they go, the more money they get. And so on a businessman, what we have to do, we have to project cost. We're projecting our targets, you know, the marketing, how we're going to affect. Uh, um, and and, and, and in, in politics, it's you're making an alliance, but with money. Mm. And in business, you've got to earn that. Got to earn it, yeah. you got to earn it. So him having that success on earning and, and, and changing things over and be able to adapt when things fail right. to be able to catch the ball and to recover and and so that there's a difference from a businessman from what we know as a politician now well like uh, George Bush the first was the vice president and then he became president Clinton was a governor he became president Bush too was a governor he became president Obama was a US senator he becomes president um, how are you going to take those steps? How are you going to take those big steps? Uh, Trump did it. He's a businessman. Well, so it's make, not impossible, right? No, no, it isn't. What it is is, is is getting the people to wake up with what the difference of what they really want. They, you don't want a fake image. You don't want to ha always have to have someone rich and popular to think that that's what we want because they're, because they're used to commercialization, yeah. right? But we all know the fails and the faults that has gone through that chain. Mm -hmm. All the changes and people and where we're at now, it's not very good, is it? No. So it didn't work out. Is it working? No. Nope. It's not working, ladies and gentlemen. So we, we do need a change. We need someone that's going to be aggressive, that knows how to relate to the people, that knows where the broken policies are and, and how to fix them and how to reform them. We're just, we're, you and I, we're all tired. I'm very tired of sloppy, lazy yeah. people that don't care about their job right. and then they're passing up the buck. But how long can this tolerate? We're now, again, we're at the crossroads. We got, you know, national security issues, we got our own homeland security issues, we got their, the economies falling apart, job, welfare, you know, deficits with social security, all of these, you know, military. I was working on the base, give uh -huh. you a quick example. I'm on the base and I'm working with the squadrons and they have an allotment of money. Mm -hmm. And they did a very good job of keeping everything tight. And it was very good, very efficient. However, at the end of the, at the physical year, they go, George, we got $100,000 left over. Mm. 
and what do we do? They so they want to buy flight gear and jackets. They needed to spend it. They had to spend it to get next year's money. Yeah. So what's happening? So we got a whole lot of money every year being dumped, thro actually thrown away to get next year's money. Mm. So this whole inflation of what a projection of what they think is is not. Right. So if that money can go back in the system, what's supposed to to create uh, uh, to 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 have more personnel, right? We want yeah. a bigger military, a stronger military, yep. not throwing away in flight gear and flight gear in, in boots. Stuff. George, we have about two minutes left. Give us a big controversial issue. Something that's going to shake this race up. I put him on the spot. I didn't tell him to get ready. Well, to national security, ladies and gentlemen, we're having a big problem with China. We're having a technological uh, uh, a battle about who's going to get what. You know, we're on our knees. Uh, America is, is begging. We're, we have a def deficit of $117 trillion. We got mm. $15, 15 trillion to back it up. We buy everything from China. They have all their, they buy so much land. They have so many different businesses. Uh, um, you know, how are we going to break uh, uh, that dependency? How are we going to become independent? And so this is, the, this is what people need to think about. I urge you, please, go to my website. Look at the petitions. Look at all the damage that needs to be reformed. Look at all the possible contingencies. Look at the agendas and the policies that uh, need to be made. We're tired of what's happening. We're tired of the field buster, gerrymandering tactics. We're tired of stalling. Uh, they can't even vote right. We need to have the way we're voting needs to be broken up into s segments. Instead of trying to vote at a whole, we need to isolate what is working and what is not. Concentrate on the areas that need to be concentrated on. And, and um, we need to start looking, like I'm saying, we need to fix these policies at a bottom level. Social Security. Everybody's complaining about Social Security. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of programs for Social Security, but the people don't know that they're there. And when they're there, the Social Security Department works against the people. They're afraid to work because they're going to lose their benefits. Ah. And so the system's working against each other. These people want to work. As we know from COVID, everybody can work from home now. Right. And these people with disabilities can work from home, but we got to give them the opportunity to do that. we got to put money back into society. All right, George Zavala, uh, BoatJZ.org. Go to that website. It's fascinating. You want to know something about George Zavala? Go to that website. You don't hide anything, do you? No, he had to be transparent. Got to be transparent. And got to be accountable. Very good. George Zavala running for uh, president of the United States of America, uh, hopefully on the Green Party ticket. Uh, but uh, hope you get in some of the debates. Hope you get your profile up. Oh, I got to tear them apart. I got to yeah. get up there. Uh, we'll be back with more right after this.